Grimson tied from the six. Straight ahead running down to the 28-yard line in good field position for Alabama. A 22-yard return as we are underway. One back to start things off on first and ten. And the tide go to the ground in the big hole on the left side for Lacey, who's tripped up at the 45-yard line. That'll move the chains. McCarron throws, quick slant caught, and a whole lot of daylight past the 30, down to the 20, and inside the 10-yard line before Arius Wright brings down Kevin Norwood. Norwood, kind of the old man on this Alabama receiving core. They go back to the ground, and this time a good job of pursuing by the Hilltoppers as Eddie Lacy goes backwards. McCarron over the middle, touchdown Alabama! Christian Jones. Draw play, good hole left side, nifty run as Andrews wiggles his way near the 44 yard line. First down, back to the ground, between the tackles and some good hard running. Grinding it up the middle is Andrews. A pitch play on second down, great second effort and a fumble. Ball is loose and Alabama has it. 92, Damian Square, one of the captains of the defense on the recovery. On second and nine, play action. McCarron has all day and has running room and slides after a pickup of about five, maybe six. McCarron to throw. He's got nobody open, gonna try and die for it himself. It'll depend on the spot. McCarron on play action, and he is sacked. Arius Wright, the defensive back out of Duluth, Georgia, on second down and 19 with Lacey the lone back. They give it to him. And he'll gobble up about nine back near the original line of scrimmage. Four in the pattern. But McCarron under hot pursuit and goes down again, and the ball is loose. Smith knocked him from behind, and the Crimson Tide recover. If Alabama turns it over, that's a news flash in itself. Cody Mandel, the punter, going to try to pin him inside the 10. Almost, but just out of the reach. Hilltoppers have it. On first and ten. And a nice play, first down yardage from the player, former assistant coach, now the head coach. On first down, Hilltoppers. Another fumble. A pile up, and Alabama's got it. Second turnover on Western Kentucky. McCarron has time, fires, deep ball, touchdown Alabama, Kevin Norwood. On third and seven, will dump ball pass at the 30 and knock down, I think that will be first down yardage for Antonio Andrews. Again, he is there everything back, you'll see him on special teams. McNeil in motion. McNeil catches it, but that is a couple of yards short. Willie McNeil, a rough start to the season for the Panthers. Jones back to receive the punt. A wobbler, and they let it bounce. And a nice job by the Hilltoppers, fielding it inside the five. 
you know that Coach Saban is big on respect and accountability, not just for his team, but for the opponents and the rest of their season, and that's what he was trying to colorfully explain. Nice hole along the right side of that offensive line for the talented freshman. That they need to get better at, and I think that that was the message he tried to give them in the locker room and tried to give it through the media as well. Yeldon again on second and short, and he plows ahead for the first down. Wobbling punt. Takes a bounce at the 45. And it'll roll dead inside the 35-yard line. Guy who's been quiet is the tight end Jack Doyle. He's at the bottom of your screen. On second down, and they do find a different target. This time, pass is complete. Thank you much on third down and seven. Pass to the flat, broken tackle, still on his feet at the 30. And finally, brought down near the 21-yard line is the ball out. At, I believe they whistled it down. It is. Saw pressure on that last play. Made Jakes throw the ball before he wanted to. This time, looks like Alabama's bringing it again. Under hot pursuit, ball knocked loose. Picked up by Alabama. Still on his feet is Sinceri. And the third turnover of the day. Alabama will have it. Xavier Dixon knocked it loose. Sinceri on the recovery. A big time recruit out of Griffin, Georgia, made the ESPN top 150, number 22 overall coming out. As the tie going back to the ground game, TJ Yeldon, speaking of great recruits. Out of the gun on second and two, it's Yeldon again. And he'll tiptoe out of bounds after gobbling up enough for the first down. First and ten, pass complete near midfield, little shake and bake. And that'll be first down yardage for number two, Dion DeAndre White. Alabama on the move. McCarron. Oh, a wide open target. That's Yeldon. He's got good hands. He showed that against Michigan as well. Yeldon this time goes backwards. McCarron sets up the screen. It's Yeldon. Tap dances and finally falls forward near the 22. On third and five, McCarron looking end zone. Touchdown! Looks like it was A&M's advantage at this point. Don't forget the Gators at Tennessee coming up as the Hilltoppers go to the ground on first down with Andrews. Let's send it back down to the field. He's a special player. On second and four, there's the tight end, and there's a first down for the Hilltoppers, Jack Doyle. John Fulton getting to play in Milner's absence there. Look out. Jake's brought down behind the line of scrimmage, a loss of nine. Terrific pursuit by C.J. Mosley. Jones back to receive from the 30. Bangs his way to about the 35, and that's where Alabama will have it when we return. Already today, 156 yards through the air. And looking for more is McCarron, and he'll have it. Nice catch by Cooper before he puts it in reverse. Cooper is a freshman from Miami. A gang of hill Hilltopper defenders able to bring Lacey down short of the first down mark. Mandel on to punt. Andrews from the 10. Tries the right side and is finally written down from behind to the 24-yard line. Jakes over the middle, dumps it off to number five, Antonio Andrews. There he is again, the Reggie Bush of this Hilltopper offense. The sophomore will let it bounce, and a good bounce for the Hilltoppers. 
as it rolls dead at the 10, a 57-yard punt with no return. McCarran under center. Probing the left side is Lacey. Now Nick Saban challenged his team to stay focused, stay motivated for this opponent. And I think in half number one, that goal was accomplished. As the clock winds down, at the end of half number one, Alabama 21 points. A.J. McCarron with three touchdown passes in the first half. Western Kentucky unable to put any points on the board. They've got to do a better job of handling the football. Back to the ground game and surging forward. A gain of a couple for Leon Allen. They're just going to keep running and running as much as you'd like them to stop. They're stubborn about it. They will throw here. And completes it to the tight end right near the marker at the 40. That is Jack Doyle, the senior out of Indianapolis. On play action. Jakes throws it, picked off at the 40. And finally wrestled down is Dion Blue. A penalty flag on the play. Following the interception, personal foul, face mask, 65, Western Kentucky. Penalty's half the distance to the goal from the end of the run, first down. That's on the center, Sean Conway. Lacey, the lone back. McCarron rolling, firing, touchdown, Alabama. Kevin Norwood hauls it in the fourth touchdown pass for McCarron. It's the number one ranked team in America. Trying to have another impressive showing before a big one next week against Arkansas. Good first down carry by Allen as he keeps those legs churning. And they're only down 28. Right. If you hold on to the football, you actually might have a chance. Off right tackle and first down yardage gobbled up again by 33. Leon Allen, he's a good looking freshman. And they don't lack confidence. They were looking forward to this ball game. Very excited to walk through yesterday. Pass over the middle on second down and that should move the chains. Who else but Antonio Andrews. Jake's in the pocket. Finds Andrews. Ridden down from behind at the 45. Directional kick toward the sideline. And we'll see where they mark it. He's still going. And stops at the 26. McCarron on second and eight. Rifles almost picked off. Great job jumping the route by Cam Thomas, but a penalty flag on the field. Pass interference, defense number four. Ball to be placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. First and 10 for the for the time. And today's first and 10 line brought to you by your local Toyota dealers as McCarron is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That's the third sack for Western Kentucky. Quinteris Smith, the all Sun Belt performer. Screen pass set up on second and long. Spin move before being pummeled to the turf. And about the 33-yard line, Christian Jones for 10. Possibly being the best line in, in the country this year. Maybe the best line in the history of Alabama football, which is saying a lot. That's saying a ton. On third down, McCarron tap dances. Dangerous pass back over the middle. Caught by Yeldon at the 40. Good looking punt as Andrews waits on it and calls for the fair catch. And that's how they coach their young men up on and off the field. On second and long, it's Jakes, threads the needle. Nice pass to Bo Brand. First reception for Brand and a gain of eight. Third and short. It'll depend if they give him forward progress. If so, I believe Jack Doyle's got the first down. Western Kentucky turnovers 
have killed this offense. And a third and long here. Blitz. Over the middle, complete. And a first down for Bo Brand. Jones camps under it. Did not call for the fair catch. Weaves his way through traffic and somehow gets out to the 23-yard line. Dangerous play and a 13-yard return. It's the kind of pass that could be intercepted off the deflection if you're not careful. Big hole left side for Yeldon. McCarron surveys. Buys time. And completes it for a first down and some more. And finally down to the 44-yard line. That is T.J. Yeldon, as you saw McCarron directing traffic. Yeldon stays in the game at tailback. They fake it to him. McCarron, not this time. Trying to buy time, but Quinteris Smith said that's enough. Alabama facing a third and 21. Conservative play call here. One broken tackle, and that's all as Fowler, their versatile fullback, is knocked out of bounds by Jamarcus Allen. The pickup of six. Doug Nussmeyer said, oh, yeah, he's over 250. From inside the 20, and not a good decision by Antonio Andrews as he is pummeled as soon as he grabs it. They're going to be better off in their conference this year for playing a game like this. Out of the gun, second down, and back to the tight end, the reliable one, Jack Doyle. Well, I think you hit on a key thing yesterday when we were at walkthrough. And they've also upgraded the facilities. $50 million they've dedicated to the facilities. Pass over the middle, nifty move at the 35 on a juke, and past the 40 for a first down is Antonio Andrews, who has been an absolute workhorse today. You see the numbers on Jake's total yardage actually rather even in this game. Western Kentucky 230, Alabama 247. Jake's is absolutely devoured behind the line of scrimmage. Don't know if he ever saw Ed Stinson coming. And Alabama is certainly one of the biggest teams in America. Another pre-snap penalty before Western Kentucky gets the snap off. Prior to the snap, false start, 75 offense, five-yard penalty, still third down. It's his second one on Seth White. First, they saw him playing rugby. Somebody said, well, give this guy a football jersey, see what he could do. Went Juco and wound up at Alabama as Jones hauls it in inside the 30. Penalty flag on the play as he's knocked out of bounds near the 45. During the return, we had two fouls, block in the back on the receiving team, number four, that penalty's declined. Illegal block in the back, number seven, during the return. That foul will be enforced, fifth first down. <laughs> He's also brought some offensive weapons of his own. On second down, pass complete right near the marker to the freshman Amari Cooper. I'll tell you why it's been seamless. It's been seamless because he didn't come in and try to change the offense and teach, you know, 35 guys the new offense. He replaces Jim McElwain, who's now the head coach of Colorado State. Inside handoff. And more work for just Justin Fowler. Back to Fowler on second and four. The big man keeping those feet pittering and battering in. Inside, past the 40. Under six minutes to play. McCarron on play action. And another sack for Western Kentucky. Let's check in with our guys in the studio. Meanwhile, D. Hart checks in. His first carry. And picks up a couple. McCarron on third and nine. Would you believe another sack for Western Kentucky? That's a half dozen for the Hilltoppers. Barry Boyd on that one. Bobble putt. Mandel running. Mandel near the marker. I think he's got it. That was not a design play. Mandel 
put it on the turf, really had no choice but to run, and picks up 19 yards and a first down. Pretty impressive day for A.J. McCarron. Blake Sims now in at quarterback, the redshirt sophomore. Hand off to D. Hart. Here for an injury update, it's Jill Montgomery. Sims out of the gun. Finds Hart. Staggers and then falls forward for the first down. To the ground again, wide left, look out. Nothing but daylight ahead and a touchdown. Kenyon Drake. McNeil will take it out. And not a good decision as he's buried. Nothing to be embarrassed about at all. If you're Western Kentucky, I thought they did a good job. They showed that they could move the football. Didn't protect very well. And then defensively, you got after A.J. McCarron all day long against one of the best offensive lines in the country, certainly the best you'll face all year. So I think there's a lot of coaching points that Willie Taggart can make to his team and a lot of confidence that should come from this game for the Hilltoppers as they get it into uh, Sunbelt Conference play in a couple games. Third down run is stymied Axon. Tackled near the line, and that should do it as the final seconds come off the clock. Your final score from Tuscaloosa, Western Kentucky 30. Western Kentucky 0, Alabama 35. The proceeding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN Regional Television, the worldwide leader in collegiate sports. Plenty more to come here from Tuscaloosa, including interviews and analysis. Stay tuned for that. But first, we'll send it to Kevin Carter and Matt Schick standing by in studio for Jill Montgomery and Chris Doring. I'm Mike Morgan saying so long from Tuscaloosa. We'll be back with more in a moment. Let's send it now to Kevin Carter and Matt Schick.